Okay, this is Mojave screen capture, which is also available for Mac, which I previously reviewed. Here you can select a custom size, hold down and drag to select a size. You can select from presets here or custom sizes here. You can select to use system audio in your recordings or not. Select which microphone, if any, you want or turn it off. Here you can select a timer uh, to stop after a certain amount of time. Here you can customize your mouse pointer or decide not to show it at all. Here you can decide to show your keystrokes such as pressing space or not. You can do the same here. Here you can do all those sort of things from here or open a previously captured file. Here is preferences. Here you can view English. So, uh, you know, select your English language or another language. Here you can select automatically check for updates. You can send anonymous usage stats to Mojave or untick it if you don't like that sort of thing. I tend to just leave it on. You can show a countdown to this five four three two one. You can select it where to save the files and where the temporary files are. Change the shortcuts from here. Change other settings including super speed, which is one of the great things about Mojave video. Uh, programs such as their video converter is it exports very fast if it's a super speed format or so you if you have Intel on board HD graphics such as Intel HD you can select use it as a hardware accelerator I have a dedicated card so that doesn't apply you can select the audio format here I recommend I have a 44.1 kilohertz for mono or stereo as a CD quality or you can select to use 48 kilohertz which is DVD and blu-ray quality that's it okay here. Now let's just hit here in the, just to show you that that's the presets I was on about. You can also hit record here. You'll get a countdown. You can also press F8 just to take a still screenshot. Okay, I am basically doing nothing here. I am now going to hit stop. Now here you can see is the recorded video. You can preview it there. You can also delete it here. You can select what how you want to export it, such as MP4, which is one of the super speed formats that so will be quick exporting. You can automatically add it to iTunes or upload it straight away after you hit save to Facebook, YouTube, Vimeo or even FTP. This is something I don't remember being in the Mac one. If you have Mojave Video Editor, which is on Windows but coming soon from Mac, you can also click here to open the video file straight in that editor. And you can hit save. Let's just hit save. There we go. Save straight away and opened its little. Open my, my computer. So, yes, I uh, do recommend this program, but I would recommend you get the studio version. As a studio version, it's about £30 and you get a built in editor like on some other uh, screen capture programs. This one you don't. It's a bog standard, straightforward video capture program and it's about £20, I think. So it's a little pricey for what it is. But the studio version, as it has a built in recorder, is actually a good deal. So I recommend you take a look at their Mojave Video Capture Studio if you're interested in this program. Uh, unfortunately for Mac users it's not available for Mac yet. I'd also like to see the Envira CUDA support for hardware acceleration except for that's been taken out of newer drivers. There's a newer encoder, I can't remember what it's called, I'd like to see that supported as well like it has Intel HD. So thanks for watching, please like and share this video and if you could do me a huge favour and also subscri subscribe because it only takes us a few seconds and helps me out a lot. Thanks.